Michael Meda, and this is Diffusion and its Importance in Human Physiology. So right here, I have a stomach. But first, we need to understand what diffusion is. Diffusion is the passive movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to low concentration. So on the left, we have a high concentration of molecules. On the right, we have a low concentration. So the molecules will diffuse from the area of high concentration on the left to the area of low concentration on the right. How is this used in human physiology? So over here we have the stomach. When we eat food, we have a high concentration of nutrients in the stomach. This is our bloodstream going to different cells in the body. So, before we eat, our bloodstream has very low concentration of nutrients. So, the nutrients will diffuse into the bloodstream, where we will now have a high concentration in the bloodstream. As the bloodstream passes by the cells that have a very low concentration of nutrients and are lacking, then the nutrients will diffuse into these cells giving the cells the required nutrients. And this is an example of how diffusion works in human physiology. I'm Michael Meda and this has been Diffusion and its Importance in Human Physiology.